to Nighthawk Parts. Oh, a little bit of a dip. Oh, okay. What the hell just happened? Uh, where am I? Hello, everybody. Gracious Blazer, we're back with more Gold Rush. Over here, some people may see dirt and rock, but we see cash and delicious gold because that's what it is. Now, some people had said it was pretty split. Some people were like, go ahead and sleep and buy everything. Some people were like, work your way up. Some people were like, sleep and buy the new stuff. I think I'm going to go right in the middle. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to buy the new stuff as it is. And we already got all the new stuff. So I'm not going to buy anything else. We're going to work and we're going to get our, our tier stuff done using the old fashioned means. It doesn't move too fast with the wash, the mobile wash plant, but it's really not that bad. Um, unless the, the full wash plant has been significantly increased, which I'm not 100% sure of yet. Now, the one thing I don't know if they fixed yet is whether or not, hold on here. I was going to say whether or not the sound works on these things when they're running. Because sometimes you, you log back in the game, there's no sound and you're burning gas and you don't even know why. So one of the things I do want to buy for us is I want to buy for us the next claim. So... The newest claim, I want to do that because that'll give us the opportunity to create an empire in a new area. We've done this area quite a bit. We've done the river uh, town before, but we haven't done the brand new claim. And I'd really like to see what it's like. Now, it does cost a ton of money for us to rent it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to rent it. But I at least want us to rent it so we can see what it's like to be working over there compared to the kind of money that we can make over here at old Arnold's claim. Now, before we get the new claim, I will say, I, I want to get at least one more bucket full of gold over here in this area that we have, uh, that we've drilled out so we know it has a decent concentration. I have to turn this on, too. I haven't even turned this thing on. Just to kind of see how the different gold amounts change. Now, I'm trying to remember how much we got last time. If you guys remember... Grams announces. I think I'm gonna leave it on Grams. It's fine. Uh, realistically, I'm trying to learn more about the metric system anyway, and I probably should. Let's go over here. Do this as we do. It all started back with the long dark. The long dark. Everyone using freaking Celsius and kilograms, while Dirty Gray was using pounds and Fahrenheit. Although. I learned kilograms in Celsius pretty quick, realistically. Uh, so I don't feel too bad about it. I think I got there fairly, and I'm pretty good nowadays. I can I can uh, translate kilograms and stuff real quick. Celsius and Fahrenheit, I'm not quite as good at. Now I remember this area over here had a fantastic gold concentration. Once we got down past that first layer, I think we're going to be hitting that right about now. Go ahead and continue over here. You can see we're getting about 4% right now. If I lift this up, it should put us right where we need to be. Right about... Oh, crap. There's so many damn quap like buttons. I still do this after all this time. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and drop this in here. Again, we're looking for right about... Oh, yeah, that was real good. I was going to say, we're looking for right about, I think, 40% is how much we can fill it up in one shot. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head because we just got... The, uh, the bigger, the bigger Komatsu thing over here, whatever you have you, the, the bigger, uh, the bigger loader. Well, just like Lil John, we're getting down pretty low here. I have a feeling that we should be in the sweet spot right now for the, uh, the gold amount. I think that the only way to see the gold map is to be inside of the drill. I'm going to check on that in just a second, but I get the feeling that's right. Whenever you're in the drill... It opens up the uh, the grid as well, so we can see everything. Go ahead and put this in here. Like I said, we should be getting right around 40 or so per scoop. Yeah, right around 40 or so per scoop. Uh, over here to the gold map, does it show us anything? Oh, mother of God, where's all our stuff? Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, so it is still here. And we can still click on it to see all of the various gold uh, concentrations. I think that we're digging in 119 right now. I'm pretty sure we're digging in 119. And it's showing everything between 4.2 meters and, well, negative, and negative 7.9 meters. 
That's where we get our best cut, and there's really good concentration down here. 51 grams, baby, compared to like 28 or 21. I'm getting decently fast at this. I will say, though, don't get me wrong. I do definitely miss our uh, our conveyor belt and stuff like that. It, it It is a grand old thing to have. There is no two ways about it. I feel very bad about not having it. Now, I will say, when we go over to the new claim, we're going to have to spend a little bit of time getting all this crap over there. Like, the machines and stuff... Obviously, we can just ship over, but the rest of this, we're gonna have to pile it to the car, as we often do. Like we're, like we're freaking a National Lampoon's vacation or something like that, and try and move it all over there in like one or two goes. It's gonna be probably at least two goes, because what are we at right now? 73%, that's not bad, probably 76 when that gets done. Because we're gonna have to bring the uh, mobile wash plant, that's gonna have to get towed behind the truck. I don't know if I can get the rest of this stuff inside the, the back of the truck, man. Like, it's gonna be a close frickin' attempt. And trust me, I Tetris the living hell out of that truck. But I, I just, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Alright, here we go. This should be the last little bit. What are we at right now? Like, 90, yeah, 96%. All I have to do is aim this up, bring it on down. I told you, man, my aim's getting pretty good. Pretty freaking good. In fact, this will be done in just a second. 98%, 99%. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit the button over here. Boop. There we are. Still got 11% left in the goo. Let's go ahead and grab our bucket of gold. Throw it on in over here. As a matter of fact, don't you tip on me. Again, I don't think that it tipping actually does anything. There's not really anything we have to worry about. Oh, and I yeah, there is a splitter for the uh, power. And we're going to get it. I just haven't gotten it yet. In fact, I don't think that we're going to get it right now. There's no reason for us to do it. Because we're gonna end up moving all this stuff anyway at the moment. Is this, uh, we have water going in here? Because it doesn't show, oh, I get, oh, that's right. I need a splitter for this thing over here, too. Because I have to put the friggin' water goo in separately. There we go. Now the water's spraying wildly. Go ahead, gold. Get on in there. Give me that magnetite while you're at it. Oh, I remember how the magnetite used to flow. And now the magnetite is just crap. Alrighty, here's the gold bucket. 500 and I'm gonna wait until we get to 5 of 10 and then we're gonna see what we get grams wise. Well, maybe not 510. Maybe we'll just, ah, I'm freaking impatient. We're gonna do like 509. I can't remember if last time we got like 130 grams or something like that. I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is from 509. So already we passed the 100 gram mark. We're way past the 100 gram mark. Are uh, we gonna pass the 200 gram mark? Yes, we're going to pass the 200 gram. We passed the 200 gram mark. No big deal. So now, can we pass the 300 gram mark? Maybe it was 300 grams we got last time. I think maybe that was it, or it was like two something. Okay, so almost, almost like 290. It's like 285 or something like that. It doesn't seem to be too bad, um, but it would definitely take a long, long time just grinding away in order to get the new claim. So let's go check this new claim out. I really want to see what this new claim is like and see the real difference. Like, is it worth it? I think it costs like, was it like 300 grand to rent it? Is that price truly worth it for what you get? Now remember, we've seen some of the areas and, and it looks like the gold map is going to stay here forever. So we're always going to know and we'll always be able to compare how rich the gold is here compared to the other place. All right, the pain in the ass part of this whole event is underway. So I've loaded up most of the stuff into the truck and trailer. There's a few things kind of like looming around. You can see there was a, uh, I think that's a generator over there that just popped on out. It's going to be fine though. What the hell's going on with the all wheel drive here? Come on, baby. Get that dirt. Get that dirt. What is going on here? Is it because I'm stuck on the friggin' trailer? It's probably because I'm stuck on the friggin' trailer. Trailer's getting all uppity on me and everything like that. Talking back in there, have you? The other issue is I'm probably on a ter terrible incline or something like that. Oh, for the love of God. Let me go. There we go. Okay. Like I said, this is the pain in the ass portion. All right. Let's pull out of here. We've got money. And we're going to need it. 
to go get the new claim. I have a little bit of extra cash left over too, or I will have a little bit of extra cash left over. That's gonna be because remember, we're gonna have to ferry all of our items over to the claim and we're gonna have to buy some of the upgrades that we bought for this claim so that we can have more than one piece of equipment because I think we're probably going to need it. I'm at the very least going to want my drill and we're gonna want our big excavator and I don't think that the mobile wash plant counts as a, as a piece of machinery in the way of vehicles. All right, we're set. Let's go ahead and sell our bar of gold over here. We got that one extra bar of gold. There we have it. And now let us watch as all of our, our money goes flying out the window and we finally rent Nighthawk Valley. Now remember, we're gonna be giving up 45%, I think of all of our gold, I think that's how it works. No dirtiness. Very high expected amount of gold. Was it at all mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Now, right away, I'm going to go ahead and just buy a quick upgrade. Can I get a second upgrade? I guess you can. But how many machines did we need on the first one? We upgraded to three. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one to three as well. And that should put us... Yeah. All right. We should be good. Everything's good there. Down to 77 grand. That quickly. Everything is gone, baby. All right. Let's go. Now, I've never been here before. I, I don't actually know how to get there. Like, I've never traveled there or anything. So, it looks like what we do... Oh, there is a... What is this over here? It's a sawmill over here. Does it do anything? Or is it just, like, there for fun? Uh... I wonder if you can sell something over by the sawmill. Anyway, it looks like what we're going to do is we're going to go out of town. We're going to go past the hotel... And then there's another factory over here, a fulcrum factory compared to factory number three or whatever. Although there's no, um, there's no little indicator over here where it says magnetite. So I don't think that we can sell anything here. Anyway, we're going to go past this. We're going to make the first right. Looks like we're going across a big ass bridge known as the Alaskan bridge. And that brings us past the sawmill. Oh my God. This is actually very, very expansive. And then finally, we're in Nighthawk Parcel with three different water areas. So the second we get there, I think what we're going to do is we'll start drilling around near all these different uh, water areas and find out which one has the best concentration of gold. Now, I've only been back here once, and that was to sleep at the uh, quote-unquote hotel over there. So supposedly, there's another road that goes through here. I guess this is it. I'm really not sure. I don't see. Eh, it can't be that. Oh, yeah, this is it. Look at this bridge right over here. The great blue yonder. Four finger sawmill. Okay, and the hotel is that way. This, ho this, this, uh, this sawmill actually looks pretty legit. Now, there's something over here. Hold on. There's a bunch of signs and stuff like that. I think it says Nighthawk. Yeah. Nighthawk parcel is that way. Pine Valley is that way. Okay, that's another one of the parcels. That was one of the ones that we had before. Well, we didn't have it, but that was one of the ones that you could have before. It's not the new parcel. We're looking for the Nighthawk parcel. So let's continue on over here. Um, I think we have to mostly bear to the ouch. I think we have to mostly bear to the right. Excuse me while I run into a couple of wayward logs in there, have you? This should pretty much bring us there, I think. Kind of wander around this way. I'm not a... I'm not... Oh, God. There is all kinds of different ways that you can go. That looks like it's blocked off. There's a lovely outhouse over here, should you need it. So I imagine we have to go this way, then. This is going to be one of those instances where I'm going to have to learn this path. I learned the... uh Haynes Hotel. Yeah, okay. I learned the um, the river one pretty quick. Oh my god, look at this. Why are the entrances getting smaller and smaller to get into these freaking places? Wow. This is like, like down deep. And, all right, well, let's go find out what we got over here. Welcome, everyone, to Nighthawk Parts. Oh, a little bit of a dip. Oh, okay. What the hell just happened? Uh, where am I? I'm in Nighthawk Parcel. I think I ended up teleporting because I, I fell through the world. It's not a, it's not a day without gray. 
unless I fall through the friggin' world. On the side note, though, I seem to have found, like, the mid area of this parcel. You can- what in the hell is going on over- Oh, mother of God. Oh, mother of God. I- I'm not sure, but I think our tri- What the hell happened over here? Where's my tailgate? Oh! Alright, so I don't have any definitive proof. But I think that this parcel may be owned by the devil. Twice now, I have crashed trying to get here. I pray to God this doesn't happen again. I just want to get to the parcel. What sort of odd things happened last time? Oh, that's right. We just wandered down. I don't want to go down this path anymore. The last time we went down this path, all hell broke loose. How about if I go at a slight angle? There. I think everything's just fine. This is a big ass parcel, though. I will tell you what. Now, we ended up over in, I guess, what I'll call like the good lands when we teleported through the universe right over here I'm pretty sure yeah because I think it was near where the uh, where the camper is and also where you set up your tier 3 stuff so this is a pretty decent area to be in let's get over here real quick I'm just gonna drop our stuff off and then like you know save my game real fast just so that nothing goes wrong hold on let's get out of here real quick Drop all this crap off. There we go. We got all kinds of things right now that are in the back of our truck. I'm just going to go ahead and throw all this crap out here too. Just because we're going to have to set it all up here anyway. Some of this stuff... I found another interesting thing out. So normally, the Tetris Foo cannot be broken. The second you get into your truck, everything locks into place and there's nothing that can happen. Well, if you crash the game and then log in... Your, uh, your Tetris stuff is not anchored down. So, effectively, what happens is everything can go just soaring out of the truck and the friggin' trailer, and you won't know why. Oh, I figured out why. Because you have to get out of the truck real quick and then get back in and lock everything back down. All right. Where in the holy hell is the tent at? Uh, let's go over here to our map and find this out. I don't know what the layout of this place is like. Alright, so we're over here. Is that the, the tent? Oh, that's the tent. Oh, wow. The tent is, like, not at all close to the camper. Like, not at all close. That kind of sucks. But whatever. We'll, we'll deal with it one way or the other. So it looks like the tent is over this way? Let's go ahead and just grab the truck and see if we can drive on over there. We're gonna need the tent to move all of our machinery. In fact, I think we're going to have to unlock the ability to move all of our machinery. Oh, the tent's not that far away. It looks a lot farther than it really is. What is with these tiny-ass little paths? Oh, they're freaking everywhere. All right. Turn this off. Head on over here to the tent. I wish that the tent got, like, cooler each time. Like, bigger and more important. All right, transportation. Three grand. Yes, we're going to need it. Going to move the big excavator over into Nighthawk. Uh, as well as the drilling machine. It'll cost us three grand, but it's going to be three grand well worth it. Because we're going to need both those items. All right. So we've got our two big deals over here. The drill and the excavator. Let's hop in the drill real quick and do a little bit of drilling around here. And we're going to have to do it next to the water areas because that's just going to make... Again, we're using the mobile wash plant. So the good part about it is that we can park this thing right next to the water areas. Uh, well, pretty close to the water areas, however close we want to be, which is still close enough to a very, very good, uh, and high-density gold area. Alright, down we go. And you can see, there's a water source right here. Like, right here. Wow. This water source is freaking epically close. Okay, now I'm not expecting too much. But here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and drill a couple of areas real quick. We won't check the we won't check the gold map like after each one. What I'll do is I'll probably drill like four or five out over here. And I think we'll move inward as we do this. So we'll kind of move away from the water to area. And we'll see if any of them have a decent concentration of gold after we dig it in. And it'll be like a little present, see? It's like a surprise. Alright? All right, last drill job over here for right now. We're going to go ahead and check the gold map afterward. Bring it on up, baby. I want to see what... I'm hoping... I'm really hoping for good stuff here. 
I'm really hoping for super high concentrations of gold. If we can get a high concentration of gold over here, that would be great since it's really close to the eventual tier 3. Alright, over here to the gold map. See what we're dealing with. We gotta move way over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is old Arnold Parcel. That's not the one I want. Let's go to Parcel. Yes! Right over here. Alright. So, we had some really crap- Wow, there is like nothing there. Man, this is why you drill. What a friggin' waste. What a waste. Alright. So, basically nothing there. Over here is still pretty bad. Wow! 172 grams per meter cubed. We were at 51 before, like that was the most we got, and now we're at like 172. Wow, 108, okay. This place is legit. Uh, like it is very, very legit. Let me go back over here to the regular map, and then go back over here to the gold map. So it's showing, you see how there's like two watering areas? It's like there's another one over here. That's odd, because over here I'm only really seeing, like, two, unless there's something magical over here that I'm not seeing. Uh, but yeah, 172. That's pretty friggin' good. Like, pretty good. And now, it doesn't have the biggest amount of gold in it, but it's just a matter of it, because it's not very deep. But man, you just go down a little bit, you get a huge amount of gold. All right. Let's, um, maybe we'll dig a couple over here and then a couple over here. Just see if we can beat 178. All right, last one I wanted to drill. I drilled like five or six more. All right. Is it looking like Christmas? Are we rewarded? Oh, I'm hoping so. All right, let's go check this out over here. Gold map, show me what we got. Um, actually, there's nothing really that impressive over here. Uh, 52, 77, 52. Yeah, like... God, it, it's so addicting. Like, I want to dig a little bit more. Just to see. So that one area of gold that we hit was, like, super lucky or something. I don't know if we just got, like, epically lucky or what. Let's go ahead and just kind of shuffle over here real quick. Now, we're moving a lot farther away from the Tier 3 area. That's the only problem. The Tier 3 area is now way over there. But luckily, we have some really good digging areas nearby. I mean, if we find another good digging area over here, it's not bad. Because we're going to be stuck on the mobile wash plant for at least a little while. Although, knowing the concentration of gold that's over there now, I don't know, man. Uh, we might make a lot of money, like, super quickly. All right, dug out a few more. Let's go check them out real quick. Did we get anything good? Oh, this looks, this looks okay. Uh, 165 grams deep down. A lot of total gold here, but not to the concentration of this one. The concentration of this one is just epic. And it's really good anyway, because it's right next to the tier 3. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to hit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring the mobile wash plant over. We already had the excavator over. And let's go ahead and fill up a bucket with this area and see what kind of numbers we pull out. No joke. This drive is an enormous pain in the ass. Now, I, I mean the drive from old Arnold Parcel to Nighthawk. Uh, Nighthawk to town isn't terrible. It's right, it's probably up there with Rivertown. But old Arnold and Nighthawk are literally on other sides of the freaking planet. So it takes forever to get anywhere. And this thing, I feel like they made this heavier. Like the developers made the, uh, the mobile wash plant react a little bit heavier because moving this thing around like my car does not react like it used to it is like going uphill very very sluggishly and now it should I mean realistically I imagine this thing weighs a decent amount but uh, it did gameplay wise a little bit of a pain in the ass for me that's all here it is the devil's entrance it's like I know let's put the sign as close as humanly possible to the most evil Wheel well breaking rocks that anyone has ever known. Oh, please don't end up sending me through the entire planet because I don't want to have to deal with the crash again. I think we're going to do okay though. Everything looks like it's all right so far. The the vehicle hasn't, you know, decided to do any sort of like weird X-Men level crazy. What in the hell's going on over here? Come on. Pull. Pull. Uh, there we go. Okay, we've pulled. Here it is. 
The Square of Glory. All right, let's go ahead and park this thing right about here. There we go. In fact, I want it... I want it, like, right next to this thing. Because, effectively, I want to be able to take our, uh, our excavator and, like, load the dirt right into this thing. Perfect. Right there. Oh, yeah. That's hot. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Nope. Stop. Stop. Stop skidding around in there, have you? All right. It's my yeah, we're good. Okay. Take this out. Plop this little guy right over there. That now we need a spot for the uh, for the excavator to be able to manipulate dirt and stuff like that. So let's put this stuff over here. This will be our little working area. Plus it's close. <laughs> Plus it. Oh God. Why? Plus, it's closer to the water and everything. One thing I found, is there water shooting out of this? I feel like there's water shooting out of this. One thing I noticed is that to make, to put these things down a little bit easier so they don't go shooting all over the place, you crouch and you do it, and it kind of lowers stuff down nice and easy. All right, so this is going to be a very, very simple setup over here. All we're going to need is one of these. This one already, what in the, oh, okay. This one already has the, um, the filter on it. So that's good. We're only going to need one of these. Uh, I think... Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll only need one of them. Uh, and then we're going to need a couple of these. All right. Setup should be pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and throw that right there. Now, where is my one... There it is. I was going to say, we've got our area... What in the hell? Come on. Get out of the car. We've got our area with the filter over here. So let's go ahead and put that in the end. Toss that in the water right there. Should be, yep, good to go. Okay, sweet. All right, we got our power splitter over here. So one of these, one of these, that supplies power to that. And now I should have enough small cords to hook everything else up and, and all the, the potent stuff up as well. So let's go ahead, well, I don't need to put it over there. Let's go ahead and do that there and that. Oh, oh, come here, baby. You know you want to. There we go. That right over there. One more cord. I'm missing a, a I'm missing a fat um, water hose. It probably went flying off when I was moving everything around. Crap went flying all over the place, man. I don't know where half of this goo went. All right, I found my other fat water hose. So everything is going to be totally fine. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to have everything running. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's going to be so good. Where's my other? There it is. All right. We've got all of our splitters going. Definitely not the best cable management job I've ever done, but it's good. It's all going to work, I'm pretty sure. We've got buckets where we need them. Let's go ahead and bring the excavator over and start loading this thing up. So, um, what the hell, what the hell happened over here? Why is there, like, half of a vehicle inside of this mountain on its side? Actually, it looks like there's a lot of broken stuff over here. That was there before I got here. I am not responsible for whatever the hell tornado came through here and did all that wreckage. I, I was not, I am not to blame. I don't know if that was a, that was some sort of natural disaster or if there was a rock slide or something. I really have no clue. Oh, this thing is so slow. All right, everything's operational. Water's going in. Gold is being made. I think we're ready to go, man. Excavator driving is off. We're not going to need it anymore. I should just be able to start digging. Now, the very top layer of this soil is not super good. Um, but as we go down, we should really start moving the good earth. Now, I think what I'm going to have to do is, yeah, tilt it up a little bit. But I want to get it right on path to where we're going to need it over here. Oh, my God. This is so much faster. Oh, this is the best. Oh, yeah. Now, to be fair, we're going to cap out pretty quickly, I think. I don't know if I can continue to get material in here as fast. Oh, I think I can. I think as fast as I can dig is as fast as it can process. You can see it's already at 29. Oh, yeah. 67. All right. We're doing pretty good with each and every scoop, and we should be in the really, really compacted area right now. Getting up to about 70-something. All right. Keep digging straight down into the real, real rich gold area. All right. I think we're already filled up. We got a new, we got a new exciting bug over here. 
it doesn't, for some reason, it's not showing me the amounts from time to time. I don't know why. Let's find out what we did, though. Over here in the magnetite area, I'm pretty sure we filled ourselves up. Like, I'm not, oh, is this even on right now? I don't think this is on. Start. There we go. I'm pretty sure we got filled up on gold. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. It should get to 90%, I do believe, for us to have filled that bucket up with gold. Fairly sure. 80, 90, okay, 90. Now remember, before we were getting about what, like 290 grams at the other claim. And for whatever reason now, the gold generation is super slow. I'm not sure why. It's been like that for a little while, if you guys noticed. The gold generation and the employees in this game have been a little wonky for a long time. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. 67 we started at, and it's not moving at all. So all the gold generation that we get here is real. So 67. It's not looking very good right now. Like, I'm not seeing anything too impressive. All right, 102. All right, now we have to beat like 290. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know if that's because of the claim or because of the, the weird grams going on right now. Okay, so it's done processing. That was barely 100 grams. Ah. Uh, I'm not feeling real impressed with that right now. All right, looks like we fixed the issue with the gold not showing up. It's almost like because it got too close to the edge, the gold wouldn't show up. It's kind of weird. Now, the only issue is that since I had to move it to the other side, the freaking hose is getting in the damn way all the time. So I keep, like, picking up the hose with the bucket. I've got to find a better way to do this. All right, now we've got a nice little system going on over here. I pick the friggin' hose up every two seconds, but whatever, it snaps back into position. It's not a big deal. All right, this should get us nice and full for the most part. You can see we're at 65%, 86%, 87%. I think this will fill us up. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so from 40%, we're at 90 right now. Well, maybe not. I could always grab another scoop here in a moment. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get filled up to 100%. I want 100% just to see what the numbers are going to look like. Yes, grab the hose. Why not? Jesus, friggin' hose in the way at all times. All right, that's going to be set. Let's go see what kind of numbers we got over here. 98, 99. All right, there's 100 for sure. Now that I've got the numbers so that they're, like, legitimately showing appropriately... Now, we, there should be a lot more gold this time. So let's go check this out. We're at 32% magnetite. The magnetite, again, is not going to be moving very quickly at all. 49%. All right, very good. Again, I assume we'll be right around 90. Come on, baby. Give me a, give me a big payload here. This, we have, there's such a high concentration of gold. I feel like we should be getting more. All right, 215, 223. Yeah, it does not feel... Like, that much gold is going inside. You can see it right there. The last, the other parcel that we were at was doing a lot better. But it's weird because the gold generation from our employees is kind of jacked up as well. So I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. Yeah, see, it processed the soil. Not even 100 grams of gold. And before, we were getting like 290. And we're on the right, we're on the right uh, piece over here. Because... I went over to the map, and I was turning the, uh, the square on and off. Now, it's totally possible that we're, we're still not deep enough. That's gotta be it. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. So, let's dig even deeper, down to at least three meters, because that's nine feet that we have to be at. And right now, what are we at right now? I don't know. We may just be getting there. Let's do one more bucket. All right. We've reached the very bottom over here, so this has to be it. Like, this has to be the best portion of gold. So I'm going to get this filled up over here. We're at 40% already. It's moving very quickly. Um, but I'm going to get this filled up, and then we're going to see what kind of grams we can pull. Now, if you notice, the grams are moving along a lot faster than they were before. Why? I really don't know. I, I don't know if this is because we've stimulated gold gram growth or something. This should put us almost at 90% of our bucket full. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Will this be the big haul? All right. This is it. We've dug deep. We're going to get 100% in just a second here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. 
All right, baby. Give me that big gold. Give me that friggin' big gold. Go ahead and sort it on out. Here we go. Maybe we shouldn't clean it. I wonder if, like, we'd get more gold if we didn't magnetite separate it. We shouldn't. The magnetite separator should be pretty legit. All right. 308 grams of gold. What's weird is the gold was being generated quite well a second ago, and now it's not anymore. All right. Grab the gold. Pour it inside. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus. Holy crap. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Are we past 700 grams? Are we past 800 grams? I think we're past 1,000 grams. Right there. Over a kilogram of gold. Okay. So that's what it was the whole time. We were just missing the real deep portion of gold. I got to do it one more time. That was amazing. All right. Now, I don't know if we're going to get a kilogram of gold again. Like, that was pretty insane. But we'll go check it out over here. Because I had to get, like, a little bit of topsoil and a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of, like, side over there as well. So it may not be as pure as our last one is. We're starting at 1439. Now, remember, we got, like, a kilogram last time. It was amazing. So 1439. Fill up the bucket over here. 90 percenter. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, the jackpot. Do it, baby. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it hard and long. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. We're pat. We're, we're well past two. Well past three. Past four. Past five. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Past six. Passing seven. And passing, well, can we get past eight? Eight, yep. 900 grams. All right, so we're getting close to 900 grams on that scoop over there. That is an incredible difference. Like we were, like, we were getting like 100 or something like that in the crappy areas, and now we're getting 900. And if you remember, we were getting like 290 before in the other claim. So it is well worth it to get a claim like this. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy Gold Rush, where we just hit the freaking jackpot. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.